You are now watching Tales from the Grid. Sports National here in Cleveland, Ohio, and we're previewing our upcoming November 12th to 14th Power Ranger auction. This is sneak peek. We thought we'd give everybody a chance to know what's coming up at the end of the year. Over 900 lots, 1993 Morphin Power Rangers. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers hit the screen, take over the world. We have almost every key costume, prop and villain from 1993 to 2023 coming up in November. So how did Hasbro and Heritage team up to do this Power Ranger auction? So about a year ago, a year and a half ago, Hasbro reached out and they were thinking about deaccessioning the costumes of Power Rangers and we came up with a plan for them because they want to give fans around the world an opportunity to celebrate one of the greatest television toy franchises ever created. So has any of this memorabilia, like similar kind of memorabilia, ever come to auction before? Or is this the first time we're seeing something like this? Power Rangers, this is the first time it's ever been released. Bits and pieces have come out over the years, but we have everything. Think about it. 1993 Mighty Morphin is the first year. We have every single season up until 2023. So we have every possible Power Ranger thing and villain you can imagine. So what kind of reception have you seen so far from your client base now that these are out and people know that they're available? So, so this is a sneak peek and we were curious because obviously we're at a sports convention, but I think it's one of the most popular things here. People come by and they're like, no way, because you can walk around the show and you see endless amounts of Mickey Mantles and Babe Roots and Ted Williams, but Power Rangers, I mean, it's just another thing. We all collect stuff, right? So people are natural collectors and they're gravitating to this because it's so nostalgic. Based on this announcement, it's looking more like the rumors of Power Rangers being over is true. According to Heritage Auctions Executive Vice President Joe Maddalena, Hasbro contacted him around January 2023 to deaccession Ranger suits, deaccession meaning to sell or otherwise dispose of an item. Vice President Joe also stated that Hasbro wants to sell the suits so fans could celebrate the show. Anyone with two eyes can see Hasbro's true intentions. They want to get rid of the Power Ranger suits and instead of donating them to a museum, Hasbro would rather sell them to make a quick buck. And to make things worse, Hasbro decided to get rid of 30 years of Power Ranger items from Mighty Morphin to Cosmic Fury, along with other sub on brands like Beetleborgs and Masked Rider. These items aren't even being sold via a lottery system, but instead by auction, which means that the average fan will most likely not get their favorite item as the more sought after items will go to the richest buyers. If I had the money, I'd buy the blue Beetleborg helmet, but due to the missing antennas, it's a bad deal. I'd buy the green Beetleborg helmet, but I wish it had the red eyes. It's still a good deal. I'd buy the red Beetleborg helmet, but I wish it had the filled in yellow eyes. It's still a good deal. I'd buy the white Beetleborg helmet, but due to the misalignment of the forehead gem and the damage to the faceplate, it's an okay deal. I'd buy Shadowborg's helmet, but I wish it had the yellow eyes, but it's still a good deal. I'd buy the gold Beetleborg helmet, but I don't super want it, so it's an okay deal. I'd buy the original Thunder Stinger, but not this one, due to the paint job, so it's a trash deal. I'd buy the full Thunder Stinger, but only getting half of it is a bad deal. I'd buy the full Black Ranger suit, and since it comes with everything, it's a great deal. I'd buy the Black Ranger suit without the helmet, but without the helmet, it can only be a good deal. I'd buy the Thick Power Axe, but due to its faded color and creases, it's only an okay deal. I'd buy the skinny power axe, but its handle is too skinny, so it's only a good deal. I'd buy the 30th anniversary power axe. It's a great deal. I'd buy the full power sword, but if this is all you get, then it's a trash deal. I'd buy the 30th anniversary blade blasters in its different modes, and they're looking well kept, so this is a great deal. I'd buy the turbo megazord helmet, but it has damage and it may not be the one from the movie, so it's an okay deal. I'd buy the Cosmic Fury Tiger Claw Daggers because they look cool, so it's a great deal. I'd buy the Dino Thunder, Tricera Shield, and Thunder Max Saber because I like their design. This is a great deal. I'd buy the Rhino Morpher because it looks cool, so this is a great deal. I'd buy the Green Light Speed Suit, but because of the missing belt and gloves, it's only a good deal. I'd buy the Red Lost Galaxy suit because it comes with the entire suit, so it's a great deal. I'd buy the Green Lost Galaxy suit because it comes with the entire suit, so it's a great deal. 
I'd buy the green Lost Galaxy helmet because it's in great condition, so it's a great deal. I'd buy the blue Lost Galaxy helmet because it's in great condition, so it's a great deal. I'd buy the Quasar Saber because I always wanted this item, so it's a great deal. If these other items were available, I would get them too. There's plenty more seasons I want items from, but I kept this to Mighty Morphin. The fans get a chance to own actual suits and props from the show. Unless there's something we don't know, Power Rangers may truly be over. Selling the suit and props instead of donating them or throwing them out can generate a bit of revenue. The Power Ranger franchise was supposed to be celebrating 30 years. Meanwhile, Hasbro was planning its downfall. Thank you for watching another episode of Tales from the Grid. And until next time, have a good one.